What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New segment here. So this is the Flashback Friday. So on Fridays I'll be looking back through the collection, different things, maybe figures I didn't get around to the first time, and uh, taking a look at them. So we'll dig back deep. We're going to go to the Mezco Wolverine. Really excited about this. I don't have any other Mezco figures in the collection. Wolverine was an obvious addition. Big shout out to my guy Ed's Toy Collection on Instagram for getting this to me. Really excited about looking at this, so let's check it out. Now tuning into the Encounter Culture. <laughs> As promised, today we're taking it back to the Mezco 112 Collective Wolverine. So let's see what we've got going on here. Alright, so as I said at the intro to the video, I don't have any Mezco in my collection. This is the first one. So for those of you who have been collecting Mezco, maybe this isn't the right video for you or you just want to relive it. Eh, you're certainly welcome. For those of you who are wondering about Mezco and wondering if you should collect it, maybe this video is right for you. Alright, so we can go on this journey together. First impressions though, I love this tin. This is an excellent, excellent feature. I mean, that'll be displayed in the collection along, maybe not alongside the figure, but somewhere in the collection because it's cool. Worth it for displaying, worth it to just store things, right? Really excellent feature here. So you got the 112 Collective Pose Play Display. That's what we're doing here. X-Men logo, Marvel logo, giant Wolverine logo with an awesome looking picture there. Super pumped about this just from the case alone. Flip it to the side. There you go. You got Mezco toys. You've got that X-Men logo there. Flip it to the back. Looks like it, I had it upside down. Uh, rookie mistakes. All right, there you go. Ages 15 and up. Not a toy for children. Some more important information along the borders here. Wolverine. Cool effect. Love everything so far. That same X-Men logo on that side. Nice Wolverine logo at the top there. And I imagine at the bottom as well yeah really really nice looking design all around on this packaging so kudos there you know, it can only go up from here i suppose let's crack this thing open and uh see what we've got going on so i, I probably should have caveated this at the beginning this is a used figure uh you know my guy ed's toy collection on instagram ran a uh, a great show on whatnot again if you're not over on whatnot definitely check us out over there uh, I happened to win this in a prize game, so very excited about that. Uh, it is a used figure, but I don't care. I'm just excited to, to check out this Mezco figure, see what's going on. Look at all this, though. You get all of these alternate heads, all of these alternate hands, some accessories down here, some effect pieces. This thing's loaded, and you know what these retail for, they absolutely should be. You're, you're definitely paying a premium, so you should get a premium amount of accessories with these figures. I was lucky enough to not have to pay a full price on this and uh, lucky enough to win it. So happy about that for sure. The fact that it's a Wolverine figure, even better. So let's uh, dig into this, see what we've got going on with all these heads, all these accessories, hands, etc. All right, after struggling mightily to get this thing out of the tin, you see it does come with some additional accessories. I'll go piece by piece on this, but uh, yeah, I mean, not only do you get the figure, but you get this diorama piece and stands. I mean, that's that's awesome. That sentinel piece, yeah, that looks great. So of course you do get the flight stand that comes with it. Look, I, I don't know about you, I, I like to display a, kind of a mix of dynamic poses and Maybe not vanilla poses, but like uh, yearbook poses, you know, those, those class photo type posing. But I definitely like to throw in some dynamic poses in the mix too. When you have a lot of figures in the collection, you got to find ways to, to make the display work. So anytime I can get a flight stand without having to purchase a flight stand additionally, I'm here for it. I do like that you have the option though. Pop that out, pop that in, and now you just have a base for the figure to stand. So great feature. This though, this is 
just phenomenal. Uh, I think it needs batteries at the moment, but just having the, or maybe if I just turn it on, look at that. All right, there you go. Yeah, so this is such a cool feature. It's not going to, I'm going to be straight up. It's not going to go with this Wolverine. It's going to go on my X-Men display with the Sentinels. I've already got some like crushed Sentinels, broken Sentinels. Over the years, like Toy Business put diorama pieces with their figures that had broken up Sentinel pieces. Diamond Select has done the same. Mezco, the Haslab Sentinel has the, the busted up pieces. So really kind of putting together an awesome selection of Sentinel pieces. Uh, so yeah, this this alone is just an awesome, awesome piece to go with this. One other thing to point out, this Sentinel base piece has several portholes all around. So you can pop these in there. I, I would imagine if you have more than one of these Mezco X-Men figures and you wanted to get a couple of them in there, there's definitely uh, some some real posability, playability with this. So cool feature as well. Just wanted to point that out. Getting a closer look at the figure himself. So this is how he came to me in the package, whether or not this is how he would originally be presented in the package. Uh, I'll drop a picture here so maybe you can see how that looks. But uh, yeah, so you get a lot of options though. You know, you get different belt options, different belt buckle options. I'll go through all the heads and hands in a moment, but uh, we'll just take a look at him real quick. One thing that really kind of held me from collecting Mezco figures in general was the cloth, right? I'm not a, a big fan of how they looked in pictures. You know, it almost came off like uh, pajama-like to me, right? So it was a, a fairly big turnoff for collecting these based on the price point, uh, just to be honest with you. Another thing that I always didn't really get from the pictures was the teeth. They always looked, uh, I don't know, kind of just too far apart. Very like chiclet-like, if you will. In hand, all of that's changed. I, I, I don't get that sense from the costume in hand from this. I mean, you can see maybe like there's going to be a little bit of extra cloth back here. But in reality, in hand, this looks pretty damn good. So... I'm I'm looking forward to getting into this a little bit more, posing it around, see how that looks. But first, let's take a look at some alternate heads, alternate hands, some of the effect pieces. I think with this, you do get a nice amount of options as far as closed hands, open hands, hands with bone claws or hands with adamantium claws. So it gives you a lot of possibility. You get, you know, classic options for the head. Uh, I switched out the belt and put the classic belt buckle here. I think how I'm going to display it, though, it'll definitely be... Uh, with the X logo on this belt. I think that's that's more in line with what I'm going for. And it'll be adamantium claws in a uh, more mid-era head. It won't be, you know, this one. But like the options, let's get some more going. One of the heads I really wanted to check out, I, I really like this battle damaged head. Just a really great expression on there. You know, kind of just like, <laughs> whatever, man, I can take it. All right. Uh, you can see like the adamantium skull in the background. He's got like some stitching going on. Just really great looking effect. The, the adamantium claws, really nice sturdy claws. So uh, absolutely liking that. One problem, I mean this belt, once I figure out how to, it clip, it ports in right there. But you know, you just got to get it set to forget it right but uh i'll keep messing with that but yeah just a really really nice looking face really great claws you get two fisted versions of these and two open hand versions of these claws so again th the accessories are there certainly there the teeth like i said I, I the teeth and the the cloth were something that were a bit of a turnoff from pictures of these but in hand I, i'm not having that same sort of feeling about these really enjoying how this all looks really great options as far as the effects go i kind i like this one it's cool you know they just kind of slide right on the claws there there are some holes right there on all four so you can 
kind of configure that however you want. You do, of course, get these effects. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm having a little difficulty with uh, getting these to stay on. If you've got any uh, hints or tips, feel free to drop those in the chat. But, uh, yeah, you really do get some, some great-looking sort of whoosh, that shoot effects, right? So, cool. Very cool. So what I think most people are interested in is probably the articulation. Like, what do you get in this vice? What you would get from a Marvel Legends Wolverine? And I'll certainly have some size comparisons with Mafex and Marvel Legends Wolverines just to see how they, they fit in. They're all the same scale. So I hope, you know, they would look pretty decent side by side. But articulation-wise, you're going to have a lot more. I'm going to remove the belt. Again, the, the belt seems to keep popping out you do have like the hole there that it will pop into but uh i'll get it figured out let's move on all right articulation wise you do get all of that up there hey those shoulder pads they pop off get decent motion going up bicep swivel of course you do have your double jointed pinless elbows and they look really good nice seamless transition uh, the elbow does stick out a little bit as there's no hair painted on or sculpted in on the elbow piece. But uh, they did get some texturing in there, so that, that's a kind of a nice touch. Forearm, nothing at the forearm. Wrist, you do have a lot of motion because you are on one of those ball joints. Something that I complain about with McFarlane figures a lot because aesthetically I don't love it. But on these, they've got it really kind of narrowed down to a very small ball joint. So it is not as noticeable and definitely lends to greater articulation. As far as the head goes, I mean, he'll look down about there. You do have that neck piece, um, which is not something that will articulate separately. Head will look up about that far. It'll go side to side. You do get a lot of range there and, uh, one thing, I know it just popped off really easily, but that's actually a good thing. Uh, it was so smooth changing out the heads and hands on this, so I'm not too worried about that. I mean, obviously, these aren't something you're going to be playing rough with, right? You're going to pick the accessories you want, you're going to choose the pose you want, and you'll probably set it and forget it. But, uh, all right, let's move on. Moving down, you do have, yeah, you do have something in the upper like lower chest area upper torso area so you do get decent movement up there down here you have a, a slight crunch it's not not a ton of ab crunch but you do get something down in the hips a little ball joint most likely down in the hips that gives you fairly good motion so you can definitely move this guy around uh you can see good sculpting in there look i mean look he's even got a little six pack look at that there you go all right, moving down to the legs. He'll kick out to about there. He'll kick back there. Knee will go up to about there. Comes out to about there. Nothing at the calf. And then you do have what is actually like a fairly limited range of motion for the ankle down here you can get it around and side to side but uh, you're not going forward or back as much as like you would on a legends figure in the back nothing different i was curious about how the seam would go you can see the seam but it's actually not uh not too bad so all around so far so good for the first comparison, I wanted to bring another, quote, high-end figure into the discussion here, right? So it's always a, a question of, you know, Mafex, Mezco, Marvel Legends, right? So you can see the Mafex one, just a little bit shorter than the Mezco, but relatively good for scale-wise. I mean, I, I do think either of these could be mixed into a... Marvel Legends X-Men display or just a 112 inch scale, you know, 112 scale Marvel display. So 
what I guess the real question is though, what do I prefer out of the two, right? I, I do wish I had a tiger stripe Mafex to compare, but I I think I'd have to lean towards this this Mezco in this instance. I like the Mafex one. I do feel like the joints are a little bit weaker, and that may be because it's a little bit older and it's been moved around a little bit. But uh, yeah, I, I would I would have to lean so far towards uh, this this Mezco version. Again, opinions differ. You know, let me know in the comments down below which you prefer. There's a lot of fans of the Mafex figures. I do think you have a lot to choose from, and they are uh, pretty awesome figures in their own regard. And next up, I have the X-Men 97 Wolverine. So this is, I think, what a lot of people would regard as one of the top Wolverines in Marvel Legends. Regardless if you think it's this one or the VHS or uh, Love Triangle or the Apocalypse Wave. Uh, to me, those are the four best versions, right? Costume-wise, aesthetically. This being the most recent, it is on the pinless body, so it does give you some of the more modern upgrades to the Marvel Legends line. And you can see it's shorter, I mean noticeably shorter than the Mezco. Scale-wise, I do think people might prefer the size of the 97 compared to the Mezco. But, you know, that's, you know, let me know what you think about that down in the comments. Uh, that that really comes down to personal preference, right? Of course, all around, the Mezco figure is going to be the better figure, and it should be. For the price point, you paid a lot more for this figure than you do the Hasbro version of Wolverine. But from a collector standpoint, somebody who's collecting a lot of figures, the price point for Marvel Legends tends to make a little bit more sense for me. There's a lot more in the line to choose from, a lot of uh, uh, characters, a lot of versions of characters, you can build out worlds a little bit better from my standpoint. Mezco is definitely taking the cake as the best figure. I think out of the three for me, the Mezco is the best Wolverine for your money. But you are going to put money down on that figure, right? So maybe that's not uh, what, what you're looking for. That's not where you're going. It's a great figure. They're all great figures. I don't think you can go wrong. It really just depends on... Your collecting habits, how you're collecting, what you want to collect. Hasbro is always going to be the, the top because of price point, right? So I know people complain about prices going up $24.99 for a standard figure, but think about this. If that's $24.99, that's if you're getting it in the U.S. for a new Mayfex, you're probably paying like $104 to $109 for a new figure. Uh, Mezco, I don't know, $100 plus, $125, $150, whatever. So think about that consider that you know $25 is a drop in the bucket compared to the Mafex or to the Mezco right so to each your own collect how you want to collect this is just my two cents love this uh, this Mezco figure though all right let's uh let's wrap this up all right folks well there you have it there was your flashback Friday with the Mezco 112 collective Wolverine Hopefully you enjoyed that. You know, uh, if, if you did, I'd, I'd love to hear it. If it's uh, something you were thinking about collecting, you're on the fence about, if this helped in that decision, let me know about that. If you uh, are wondering why I'm doing a overview of a figure that's been out for a while, uh, well, I told you at the beginning. So you made it this far, so you cared that much. Appreciate you for hanging out, checking out the video. Let me know if you think this uh, new segment's a good idea. Just trying to put some more content out there, revisit some figures. There are a lot of new collectors coming in every day, so I do think that something like this could be beneficial to those of you out there who are maybe getting into collecting. You have a lot of options. This, you know, Mesco puts out great figures. There, There's a lot of quality, a lot of accessories, a lot going on with these figures. So... Is it right for everybody? Absolutely not. Is it right for some people? For sure. Will I continue to collect Mezco? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm still very much on the fence about it, but there will certainly be ones I will collect. I, I, I am going to get a Superman now. I, I do think that getting this Wolverine helped me in justifying the fact that since I do collect a lot of Superman, I should get that Superman figure as well. Marvel Legends, of course, always going to be your quality quantity over quality right so if you want a lot of stuff in the collection you really want to beef it up 
Marvel Legends, that's where you're going to lean to. But if you want to pop in a few of these higher-end figures, you certainly can. They, they certainly scale with the rest of the collection. This is a little bit taller for me. These guys, the Mafex and Marvel Legends, seem to be right on par with each other size-wise. Uh, Mezco being just a little bit taller. But I do still think it would fit in very well mixed in with Marvel Legends, Mafex figures. You know, you can just... Go across several lines, build up how you want, throw in a couple of Marvel Select for the larger figures, buy the best ones for your collection, right? That's what it's about. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. Anyway, I've ranted long enough. I've already said thank you for checking out the video, but once again, thank you for checking out the video. You can find me on these socials down here. Of course, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe below, though. That's the most important thing. And until next time, take it easy. Drinking with my friends When we go out you'll never see us again